Welcome, I film is a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and today I'll show you how to enable the power saving mode. Now to get started, let's pull down the notification panel and find the toggle somewhere in here, which I can already see it, it's right over here. So power mode, and you want to hold it. This will take us to the options of it, where we have a couple different power saving modes. So we have high performance, which is completely opposite, so disregard that, then we have optimized, which is on the default state, and we have medium power saving, and this will well, disable some things. As you can see, once you tap on it, it gives you a um, options that what well, you can actually toggle on or off right here. So by default it will turn off the always on display, limit the CPU speed to 70%, turn off 5G and switch to only 4G and LTE, uh, drop down the brightness by 10%, uh, that will be the max brightness at that point, and then also screen resolution will be dropped to full HD uh, plus. Okay. And you can change it as well if you want to, you can uh, keep it at the uh, same resolution, although if you're planning to preserve battery, uh, this is something that probably you won't really notice. Uh, brightness, you will probably notice, but you can change it to <coughs> 5% or uh, no decrease. And also you can disable some of those stuff if you want to keep, uh, keep anything like the 5G or maybe CPU at full power. Completely up to you. But once you have checked all of that, uh, and set it up, tap on turn on, and it will begin just changing the settings. And there we go. So right now it's in the medium power saving, and like you've seen, it does everything that it said there. It also does a couple of things that it didn't specify, like uh, the Wi-Fi wi -Fi and mobile management. Uh, I believe when you put the device to sleep, it will disconnect from both, uh, just to keep the battery uh, in, um, in basically power saving mode. And whenever you start interacting with the device, so when you unlock it, it will automatically reconnect and then sync all the data that probably missed uh, based on the fact that it was disconnected. So if you were getting some kind of WhatsApp messages, Facebook notifications, whatever, they will be then synced all at once automatically when you reconnect. Um, so that is the normal power saving mode and there's also the other one if we go back here you can have the maximum power saving now this will basically do everything that we already uh, have right now as you can see it also drops the resolution a little bit lower to just hd so that is 720p um, and again it will do way more than it actually shows right here so once i enable it you will actually get to see the difference so it's actually more visible right here what it will do so CPU limit always on display restrict background data there it is and I didn't get to finish reading uh, but you can pause the video and see everything that it will do in that list there is way more than it's shown in the tiny little window that appears and then once it turns on you can clearly see the difference here so this is just a bare minimum that you will get as you can see even the notification panel uh, is fairly well budget I would say uh, it's lacking a lot of toggles and this is just so, this is basically the mode that you use if you're, uh, let's say, stranded on an island. Um, and this mode you will save the most amount of battery. As you can see, everything that is dark right now will not be lit up. So that's why there is no background anymore, because it will save battery. You only have access to the most important apps right here. And that's about it. Uh, you don't get much more in this mode. Uh, but once you want to leave this mode, simply pull down the notification and tap on the toggle once more and we'll go back. As you can see there is the dark mode, high system speed, turn off 5G, background location check, uh, and motion smoothness. So it basically drops the refresh rate as well, um, disables from localizations and stuff like that. So now we're back to normal once we tap on it and now the device is functioning back to complete full speed and everything back to before we started enabling the power saving mode. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.